Okay, take three. If you see at the top of the solar array, I've got two screws in the same height and in line. And if I'm lined up with the sun, I should see a shadow that looks like a single screw. And you can see there's just a hair height difference in the screws, but the width is almost screw width, which shows that the panel is facing directly into the sun. And it's August 10th, 2011, about 1.45 in the afternoon. And it's been running uh, autonomously uh, since the, since sunrise. Um, the elevation sensor is an accelerometer that was just calibrated last night. And uh, elevation was calibrated the day before. So as you can see, it's tracking very nicely. And the solar array itself, as you can see, I can back up to get it to fit in the frame. So it's a six array panel assembly, roughly three by five ish. And you can see it just uh, adjusted to keep in line with the sun. Let's go look at the shadow, see if it stayed on line. And as we can see, uh, the shadow. It's just slightly fatter than a screw width. The screws are roughly an eighth of an inch in diameter. So, you know, within an eighth inch tolerance in degrees, I don't know what that turns into, but it's pretty darn tight. The drive system, there's a stepper motor in this PVC housing. Note the custom duct tape. There's an Acme thread lead screw, an Acme nut. And stop washer at the bottom and the brains of the operation is a an Arduino Uno microcontroller with a Chronodot uh, real-time clock to Palulu uh, A4988 stepper motor controllers and below is the other stepper motor for azimuth control and that is driving a worm gear assembly from a surplus garage door opener. You can see the main drive gear. The blue pot in the foreground is the feedback pot being driven by a homemade drive sprocket that follows the drive chain. The drive chain drives a large sprocket gear from uh, Rural King which is welded to a piece of pipe that, which pivots on another uh, piece of conduit that just happens to fit inside that pipe assembly. Inside this custom enclosure with a nice layer of duct tape and, and aluminum duct tape is uh, Housing a an accelerometer, a three-axis accelerometer. And for this, I'm only using the, the y-axis, uh, but this is giving me uh, zenith angle measurements in real time. And holding, as we see on the display, holding to within three degrees uh, based on the software. Uh, I didn't want the thing um, driving up and down based on minor variations, so I set the tolerance to plus or minus three degrees. As we can see, the calculated elevation should be 24.94, and I'm sitting at 27 measured. And then next to that, we see the azimuth heading is 179.2, and I'm holding at 179. The three digits after that is uh, just some debug, which is the a to D reading from the elevation or the yeah the zenith angle uh, accelerometer measurement.